This small red cube is called a cubic centimeter. That means that all of the edges of this cube are one centimeter long. It also means that the red cube takes up or occupies one cubic centimeter of space. And when we're talking about space, we're talking about volume. So the volume of this red cube is equal to one cubic centimeter of space. This is the expression of cubic centimeter that you will see most often in your science courses. The cm is short for centimeter, and the superscript 3, or what we would call in mathematics the exponent 3, means cubed. So we can call this expression a centimeter cubed, or a cubic centimeter. The cubic centimeter is one of the most important units of volume in the study of chemistry. So you need to become very familiar with its approximate size and conversion factors for other units. One conversion factor that you really need to know is that the volume of one cubic centimeter is equal to the volume of one milliliter. So if you have a volume of 10 cubic centimeters, it will be equal to a volume of 10 milliliters. And if you have a volume of 50 cubic centimeters, it will equal a volume of 50 milliliters. Watch the change in the water level. The red arrow shows you where the bottom of the meniscus was before we added the red one cubic centimeter block. Note that the water level has risen exactly one milliliter. Therefore, once again, we see that the volume of one cubic centimeter is equal to the volume of one milliliter. <laughs>